Think about three line segments like these. And we have been assigned a task to form a closed figure using these segments. How should we go about it? We adjust this one a bit and place these two segments like this. That's it. We have a closed figure which we have formed using these three line segments. This is a triangle. Let's draw it on a new page. It's drawn like this. If you look at the entire figure, you will see three points which are called the vertices. Each point is a vertex. A vertex in a closed figure is simply a point at which two segments meet. And to name the triangle, all we have to do is name the vertices. Let's name them A, B and C. This triangle will be called Triangle ABC. Instead of writing the word triangle every time, we use the symbol of a triangle instead. Is the order important here? Can we call it Triangle BAC or Triangle CBA? Yes, we can but wherever possible, we should try and follow the alphabetical order. Look at the triangle closely. You would see vertices, angles and sides too. We have seen that they have three vertices A, B and C. We know that an angle is formed when two segments meet, which means we have three angles here. Angle A, Angle B and Angle C. A triangle is basically a three-sided closed figure with three angles in its interiors. And how many sides does a triangle have? One, two and three. Three sides. And it has three sides or segments AB, BC and CA. In this triangle ABC, we also say that BC is the side opposite vertex A. And similarly, AC is the side opposite to vertex B. And AB is the side opposite to vertex C. All this is very simple to understand but may get boring if you do not know the real world applications of triangles. Think about two brothers, Ben and Charlie, who love breaking each other's toys. Ben has a rectangular toy shaped like this and Charlie has a triangular shaped toy. Charlie attacks first and breaks Ben's toys easily. Getting angry, Ben runs towards Charlie's toy hoping to smash it into pieces. But he realizes that the tip of the toy is sharp and the toy won't break easily if he tries to attack the other two sides. And that is why a triangular shape is considered to be extremely stable in the field of architecture. So what do we do if we want a stable and a more solid rectangular shape? Maybe we can use three triangles like this and make one rectangle. This figure will be more stable as compared to this one. Most of the bridges you see will have a triangular structure like this and helps it withstand the heavy downward force of the weights crossing the bridge. Imagine you lived in a town where it rains and snows heavily. What if you had a house like this? In cold weather, snow would accumulate on your roof. But if you had a house with a roof like this, snow would just slide down the slopes. This shape is triangular. You live on the 25th floor of a building and one day there's no electricity. Imagine climbing up a straight ladder to reach your house. That would be really tough. And to make it easy, we have stairs which again is a triangular shape. And because of all these reasons and many more, it is considered the single most important shape in engineering.